Thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you to our witnesses. You know, at a time when less Americans are working than ever before, with a historic low labor participation rate, combined with some 10 million open jobs in this country, combined with the continued Democrat narrative that there are some jobs that Americans just won't do, it's appalling that we'd be here today going farms and those young people who want to work on those farms as they have for decades. I was better as a kid for having worked on family farms. Young people are better for learning the value of work and the value of a dollar at a young age. Young people are better for learning the values, uh, the life skills and the work skills that are taught on a family farm. Hard work is noble and it never hurt anybody. And those who feed our country, our family farms, are better for the young workers who they rely on. But today's hearing represents Washington at its worst. Those who cannot do and those who do not know trying to dictate rules and regulations to those who do and those who know. Family farms and hardworking young people represent what is right about America and yes, what made America great and what makes America great today. Farmers already have it tough enough. They're struggling to survive today. And I recognize that many in the majority maybe have no farms in their districts. Perhaps they've never visited a farm or maybe they've never met a farmer. Uh, but you can't feed this nation in the cities. You got to go to the rural areas. You got to go to the farmers. That's who is literally feeding our country. And it's incredible that we'd be trying to make it tougher on them today. If we really care about the nation's young people, or about young people more generally, why not go after the Mexican crime cartels who are exploiting and trafficking children and young people today, thousands today, thousands every day along our southern border, instead of going after America's farmers? If our concern is with the health and safety of minors, our top priority should be ending the Biden border crisis, stopping illegal immigration and building the wall. The Biden border crisis and the Biden policies are encouraging human trafficking, including of minors, on a mass scale. Ms. Boswell, I appreciate you being with us today. I appreciate your testimony. Ms. Boswell, we know that the Democrats don't believe that parents should have a say in their kids' education or they label them domestic terrorists. Do you believe that parents would be in a better situation than the federal government to make decisions regarding their work on a family farm? Thank you for the question. That is actually one of my main concerns with, with the way this legislation is drafted. There are certainly 16 year olds that should not be doing certain jobs. Uh, and there are certain, there are six, there are 12 year olds, 14 year olds like myself who had been around this equipment, who had been around animals and livestock their entire lives. I think a parent is more equipped to look at their child, and I refuse to believe that a parent is exploiting their children or wants to put their children at risk, or their grandparent or their uncle. I refuse to believe that. So I, I believe that a parent can look at their 12-year-old, just as my sister did with, with her son, and say, this is a great opportunity for you to, to learn time management skills, for you to understand what it takes to have that responsibility, for you to earn some cash that maybe you can come visit your aunt in Washington, D.C. with. All of those things are important and a parent can make that decision much more than the Department of Labor or Congress who doesn't know that individual's experience or maturity level. Well said, you know, this bill also would give the Secretary of Labor unrestricted authority to limit farm workers under the age 18, of 18 from work that the Secretary of Labor, irrespective of their qualifications, experience or knowledge, that the Secretary of Labor quote, finds detri detrimental to their health or well-being. Ms. Boswell, could that phrase, detrimental to their health or well-being in this bill, be abused to weaponize the Department of Labor against rural farmers? I do believe that it can, especially if uninformed. Uh, the devil's in the details of those hazardous occupations and you having experienced individuals who are out on the ground, you operating the equipment, that 
has been greatly improved. The farm today is not the farm I grew up on. There's, thank you, the industry for stepping up and putting more safety equipment and protections in equipment for putting uh, fruits and vegetables on trellises to help uh, uh, alleviate some of that hard work. You know, that engagement is important. Uh, and, and there are certainly tasks, I said in my, my testimony, there are certainly tasks that are, are dangerous in agriculture, but we have to have an informed discussion about what those are with people who actually work on the farm. Thank you, Ms. Wildwell. I'm thankful for Americans farmers. I'm thankful for what I learned working on a farm. I'm thankful for your testimony today. Madam Chairman, I yield back.